trip. Used to be you go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep them in the boat. The canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Oh no, that... dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I think we are let us in, Granny. Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, 
Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I think the little birdies are sad today. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. They're shy. into the void with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to... <laughs> Where are you? Here you are. I'm trapped. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save
chance you'll share your food with me tonight? Please, not now. Phantom, you don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. Nope.
disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Psst, Corvo. It's me. What a sight. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell, and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerna, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound's book. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. You've never seen it, you? I've never seen the heretic's brand. No, it's a rare occurrence. It's by the face of the A former member of our old house. Out on a retreat, we crashed into a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the High Overseer himself, who violates our codes. Cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. I hear the watch is having trouble holding the side streets. Bunch of children playing games, that's all. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor... Callista's a... Probably found 
found a safe place to hole up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. I hope you won't refuse. It'll make this business pass all the quicker. Well, the servants must have been in here. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Hey, time. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores... Maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <laughs> Take it easy there, old <coughs> son. I'm all right, Colonel. <clears throat> but down the wrong way. Now about these overseers. Who are just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name to protect. I can't allow you to... Oh, oh no. This can't be happening. Who stopped us? What on earth are you talking about? No time, no time. Listen carefully. You must... I instruct the Lord Regent to burn the Black Book. Understand? Burn it! What Black Book? What do you mean? Burn them, and then die of plague, you useless incompetent. I never liked you... What in the world? Campbell? He's dead. Guards! Guards, get in here! By the prophecies, what have you done? He's been poisoned. There was a younger of your order in here before. An initiate, perhaps. Detain him. You don't give orders here. Don't be a fool. He must be running already. Get after him! I'll be filing a full Stuff report. Stuff your report, Colonel, and I'll have your weapons at once. Idiot! One step closer and I'll gut you. You've forgotten where you are, Captain. You've no power here. You'll regret this! Firing! This 
facility is now in high alert. Lockdown is now in effect. Report to your stations and execute any intruders on site. It's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 